All new at 530, Brother Jed's campus ministry came calling to the Indiana University campus fresh off of a rousing rejection of his message at DePaul University yesterday. The evangelist spoke to students in a grassy area, urging them to repent and embrace God. RTV6's Derek Thomas has that story. There was turmoil and there was strife at DePaul University yesterday. But at Indiana University, it was spirited but tame in comparison. Don't sodomize one another. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Brother Jed Smock says he is simply trying to get students to embrace Christianity, but his message has a definite anti-gay accent. You are wicked, wicked, wicked. Somebody take this homosexual away. Mikhail Savinko is one of the young evangelists who travel with Brother Jed, who seem to enjoy rallying up the students. When people allow this to continue, when they don't stand up and try and drown him out, they are aiding and abetting him. He is coming into this campus, our campus, and harming people, doing very real harm. I don't agree with the hatred that he's preaching, like saying like, oh, God hates homos and all this stuff. Like, no, he doesn't. That's not true. That's not what Christi Christianity is about. It is difficult to determine if any harm was done at IU, but there was quite a ruckus at DePaul. These are pictures of the student confrontation with the evangelist. Mock is proud of what they did. And I considered yesterday successful because we made Christianity an issue. And some of those students are going to think about why just five preachers got the whole campus so upset. A lot of it can sound hateful, but I think in his heart he means to be loving. Um, but the way it's all being delivered, I don't think um, is always correct. Brother Jed promises to return to DePaul University next Wednesday. He hopes to get a better reception. In Bloomington, Derek Thomas, RTV6. Brother Jed travels to 35 campuses a year. The 72-year-old preacher usually has a team of four young evangelists on those trips.